Is straightening of the lumbar spine serious? The only reason that you are watching this video is because either your x-ray report or your MRI report stated that you have a straightening of the lumbar spine. I say this because there's no other way to diagnose or discover a straightening of the lumbar spine without some type of diagnostic image. If your medical report says you have a straightening of the lumbar spine, or loss of lordosis, or flat back syndrome, then this will be a very crucial video for you to continue to watch. It's important for you to know the answer to the question so you can start making an informed decision on what to do next for this condition. Now remember, my opinion is always an educated person is an empowered person so you can help yourself. Be sure to watch at the very end of this video because I'm gonna outline a research-based, three-step, non-surgical, non-operative, corrective care method that specifically targets the correction of a straight arm lumbar spine. Make sure you watch it to the very end because you don't wanna miss this part because that could be the very reason that you continue to suffer with back pain, leg pain, and more degeneration. I'm Dr. Gregory Kramer. I'm a Livonia, Michigan-based chiropractor with over 33 years experience. I'm certified in corrective care method called chiropractic biophysics. I treat a variety of people. So typically, I see a lot of chronic spinal pain, spinal ligament injury, both disc and non-disc. We see people with degenerative spinal conditions like degenerative disc disease, bulges, herniations, traumatic accidents from car, work, or sport. Now, the methods that I use typically are corrective care and spinal decompression. Corrective care from chiropractic biophysics consists of mirror image adjustments, mirror image or targeted exercise, and mirror image corrective remodeling traction. Now, before I continue this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and share it if you find it interesting because this information is gonna help you relieve pain, stabilize your spine, avoid spinal surgery so you can live stronger longer. Also, tell me in the comments below that you subscribe and I'll personally reply back to you. Before I answer that question, is straightening the lumbar spine serious? You must first know that you cannot measure a straightening of the lumbar spine with an MRI or, or with a recumbent X-ray. In other words, you can't measure it lying down. You need to have a standing upright X-ray done to properly evaluate, measure, and diagnose a straightening of the lumbar spine. Why is this important? It's important because your spine is designed to adapt to gravity in the standing or erect position. That is the only way to see is how the spine adapts to the loads or weight of your body. In other words, you cannot be lying down your back for an x-ray or for an MRI because that's naturally gonna cause the lumbar spine to flatten out or straighten out. That's why you cannot get an accurate measurement of the alignment of the lumbar spine with an MRI or with x-rays lying down. So if your x-rays were lying down and, or all you had was an MRI and you were told that you have a straightening of the lumbar spine, then you must get a standing upright x-ray for a proper evaluation, proper measurement of the lumbar spine. Then you can make a better informed decision about the type of corrective care you need to correct the straightening of the lumbar spine. Now, one of the best doctors to get a standing upright assessment and measurement of your spine is a corrective care chiropractor or chiropractor biophysics doctor. The good news is I can help you find one. All you need to do is comment below and I will refer you to a directory of trained and certified chiropractic biophysic doctors. There are many in the United States, some in Canada and Europe and other parts of the world. Now, I'll answer this question in a moment. Is straightening of the lumbar spine serious? But first, I want to remind you to keep watching to the end of the video where I can reveal and outline this three-step non-surgical corrective care method that we use in our office to specifically target and correct a straightening of the lumbar spine. So, is straightening of the lumbar spine serious? And the answer is yes. A straightening of the lumbar spine cannot be neglected. So, we know that we need curves in our spine. We have a cervical lordosis, we have a thoracic kyphosis, and we have a lumbar lordosis. So a, a lumbar lordosis is this, cervical lordosis is a curve like this. A thoracic kyphosis is bending in the opposite direction. 
those curves absorb shock. And so when we lose these curves, your ability to transmit force with every step, forget about traumatic things like work or lifting weights or running or bouncing, that we need a curve to absorb shock. If we don't have a proper curve over time, we don't absorb shock correctly. That can put excessive pressure on the disc and the joints, leading to premature pain, spinal degeneration, spinal bulges, and even spinal herniations or disc herniations. It accelerates the degenerative process of the spine. Now, if you're an athlete without a proper curve, it's even worse. It's like putting a big engine in a bent frame. Now, interesting, if you want to see exact research about this, just go to CBP Nonprofit, Ideal Spine, what you'll find is, is that when patients are diagnosed with a loss of lordosis and they're put on a corrective care program of adjustments, exercise, traction, and they correct the lordosis, not only do they have pain relief, but they have long-term pain and health benefits. And I'll get to that in a minute. So remember, when we lose our lordosis, it's a bad thing. Straightening the lumbar spine is an incidental finding on most x-rays, meaning a doctor is not necessarily looking for it. They just happen to discover it during their x-ray evaluation. This problem could have been existing for years, even most of your life. This means the damage that's accumulated due to straightening the lumbar spine has been going on unnoticed for years. Now, lumbar lordosis is necessary for you to absorb shock, okay? Everyday living, we need normal alignment. You would not want to fly in a plane that was out of alignment. You don't want to live in a building that's out of alignment. If your marriage is aligned, it functions better. It's that simple. If your spine is aligned, you function better. Your nervous system functions better. But when you have a malaligned spine or a loss of lordosis in the lumbar spine, you don't transmit force, that unequal pressure over time. It's not overnight, but over time then all of a sudden you're doing something that could be rather mundane, like a routine thing, like getting dressed, bending forward, picking up something, and all of a sudden your low back gets, goes out and you have immediate back, maybe even leg pain. Now, if you don't correct the cause of the problem with the loss of lordosis, or if you don't stabilize this, a straight lumbar spine will continue to cause damage to your spine and disc. It will continue to cause back and leg pain and may lead to more serious consequences like limited mobility and spinal instability. Now remember, if you want research, go to CBP Nonprofit. They talk about that there are many types of treatment that give you short-term relief, whether it's physical therapy or manipulation, but when you go to a chiropractic biophysics doctor that's trained in corrective care, that means trained to diagnose a specific spinal problem, and your spine is corrected, not only do you have pain relief, because a lot of things help temporarily at the four-week mark, at the 10-week mark. But when we make a change in alignment, not only do we see greater pain relief at 10 or 12 weeks, we see greater health improvements at 10 and 12 weeks, but also when we follow up six months or a year later, we see sustainability. So again, a lot of things can help short term, but when you change the alignment, when you improve the curves of the spine, you have long-term health benefits and long-term pain relief versus short term. That's why it's so important that we work on correcting a straightened lumbar spine. So. That brings me to this research-based, three-step, non-surgical, non-operative method for correcting a straightened lumbar spine. And as you've been hearing me talking about it, we talk about chiropractic biophysics. So there's three parts of chiropractic biophysics. First is a, an assessment. You talk to a doctor, you have a consultation, they see if you're a candidate for care, they do an exam, they look at your posture, they look at your movement, then we take structural-based weight-bearing x-rays. We need to look at your spine like an engineer. If you have a deviation from normal, whether from the front or from the side, so looking at the spine from the front would be like this, looking at the spine, making sure we have the proper curves. If your spine is abnormal, 
and it is safe to intervene with a physical form of care, adjustments, exercise, traction, and most of the time, 95%, 97% of the time, it is safe. Um, then very simple, we will begin with what we call exercise, adjustments, and traction. It's called EAT, that's the protocol name. So we would do a mirror image exercise, a reverse of your posture exercise, and I've shown those in the past. Then we would do a reverse or mirror image adjustment, okay? And then we would do a mirror image traction, okay? Usually it's called a three-point bending. And traction we showed on the last video, we would start with a couple minutes and gradually work up to 10 to 20 minutes. And then we would also recommend mirror image exercise at home and mirror image traction at home. Ideally, you would like to traction the spine every day, maybe three times a week in the office and perhaps four to seven times a week at home. This is typically done anywhere from eight to 12 weeks. Then there would be an examination every 30 days, okay, to measure pain, function, range of motion, things like that. And then at, usually at the end of the eight to 12 week mark, some, not all of the x-rays would be taken to see was there a correction achieved. Again, when you make a structural correction, you look at long-term benefits. And, and the benefits we talk about is pain relief, which is one, but we see many other health benefits, energy, organ system functioning better, like typically it's very common to see women with menstrual cramp improvement, digestion elimination improvement. Those are common things we often see. And then we also look at your ability to perform at your daily activities, your ability to lift, bend. How long can you sit? How long can you walk? Can you, can you uh, bowl a certain amount of frames? Can you work out like you did? Can you golf 18 holes? So we measure quality of life. And again, when you make a structural ass uh, uh, assessment and you make a structural correction, we see long-term pain relief and long-term health benefits compared to short-term. So if you want long-term health benefits, you need to get assessed by a chiropractic biophysics doctor. Okay. Now I wanna hear from you. What has your experience with straightening of the lumbar spine been? How did you get it diagnosed? By an MRI? By an x-ray? Were you lying down or your x-rays were you standing upright? What has worked for you? What has not worked for you? comment below and let me know. Now, if you found value to this video, do me a favor, like it and share it so the people that need this information can see it too. By sharing this video, it'll really help you with the YouTube algorithm to get this video out to the people that need it. Remember, people are suffering and people want to minimize drugs and surgery as much as possible. Also, subscribe to my channel now if you want to learn more tips how to relieve pain, stabilize your spine, avoid spinal surgery so you can live stronger, longer. If you want to follow three easy exercises for targeting a straight and lumbar spine, watch this next video. You can do these exercises at home. Go here to watch this video next.